You're welcome. The bear family was down at the beach for the day. They went swimming, buried each other in the sand, played frisbee, and lay in the sun. After lying in the sun for about five minutes, sister, brother, and honey felt too hot. Let's build a sandcastle," said sister. Brother and honey liked the idea. They started to pile up sand. Building a sandcastle, I see," said Papa. "I will help. I'm a sandcastle expert." Papa helped the cubs make a huge sand pile. Now we will need driftwood, shells. And buckets of water," said Papa. Brother found pieces of driftwood. Sister collected shells, and Honey found a long seagull feather. Papa carried buckets of water from the sea. First, they built a tower, and wetted it down with sea water to make it stick together. They decorated it with shells and put the seagull feather in the top for a flag. Next, they made a wall and a moat with a driftwood drawbridge. They dug a trench down to the water to fill it up. This is the best sandcastle ever," said sister. "Thanks for helping us, Papa," said brother. We couldn't have done it without you. You're welcome," said Papa. "I love to build things with you. You're very welcome indeed." Just then, a big wave came rolling up the beach. The cubs ran away, but the wave crashed over the sandcastle. It crashed over Papa too. The cubs helped Papa up. Thanks," said Papa. "You're welcome," said brother and sister. "Welcome," said Honey. Their sandcastle was washed away. The only thing left was the seagull feather sticking in the sand. "Let's build another one," said sister. "Okay," said brother. "Okay," said Honey. "I will help you," said Papa. Thanks, Papa," said the cubs, giving him a big hug. "You're welcome," said Papa Bear. "Excuse me." Brother, sister, and Honey were playing pirates in the backyard. The picnic table was their pirate ship. A beach umbrella was their sail. They had long balloons for pirate swords. Mama's black bathing suit was a pirate flag. Arg! cried brother. He was Captain Cub. This desert island looks like a good place to bury our treasure. He pointed to the birdhouse. Drop anchor. Their treasure chest was a box of old comic books. They carried it to the birdhouse to bury it. Arg! Someone else cried. It was too tall, Grizzly and his gang. I am Black Bruin, the king of the pirates. Hand over that treasure! Curse you, Black Bruin! Said brother. Too tall laughed. And his gang laughed too. Ha 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 ha! You will stay on this island until you rot," said Too Tall. Marooned," said Sister. "Who are you calling a maroon?" asked Brother. 
That just means we are stuck here," said Sister. Too Tall and his gang took over the picnic table ship, and opened the treasure chest. "Oh boy," said Too Tall. "Comic books." They started to read. Brother, sister, and Honey decided they didn't like being marooned. Excuse me," said Brother. "Yes," said Too Tall. "May we join you?" asked Brother. "Sure," said Too Tall. "Come aboard." Brother, sister, and Honey joined Too Tall on the picnic table to read comic books. "It's lucky you said excuse me," said Too Tall, "or I wouldn't have let you come aboard." It always pays to be polite," said Sister. "If you're marooned."